Alrighty, we finally have another DaVinci Resolve tutorial, and one way that I'm slowly moving over to DaVinci Resolve is by taking work that I've created in After Effects and learning how I can recreate it in Fusion. So in this video, we're gonna take a fun dive into comfortably creating different types of looping motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. All right, first, let's take a look at creating a looping title along a custom path. So by default in DaVinci Resolve Fusion, I usually create a background and a merge node and then always connect that merge to media out. Okay, so now we'll add a text node and connect it to the merge node. And from here, you can type out your text and change the font. I'm going to type out the text several times. And when you're ready to make your text revolve around a custom path, I can click on layout and change the type. If I select path, I can now create a custom path for my text to follow. However, I want to set the type to circle and real fast, I will animate the rotation Z by adding a keyframe moving forward and slightly adjusting the Z value. Then I can come here to spline and select the keyframes and then I can click this preset called relative. This preset will continue the animation forever. All right, so next up, I'm gonna show you how to create this seamless scrolling text. And we're actually not gonna use Fusion for this. In the edit panel, we can click on effects and add a text plus to our timeline. Then go to open VFX and search for transform. Then add that effect to your text plus in your timeline. Now in the inspector, type out your title and then click on effects. Scroll down to edge behavior and set it to wrap around. Then zoom out of your scene like this and check crop. Then adjust the crop top and bottom to create this array of text. Now you can keyframe animate the position X and Y to seamlessly scroll your titles. And that's how to create seamless text in Resolve. Now, if you're liking this type of DaVinci content for me, please drop a comment down below if you want to see more content like this or not, as it's very helpful. And before we move on to our next techniques, if you want to support our channel and produce awesome videos here in Resolve, we've made a 200 plus seamless transitions pack here for DaVinci Resolve. You can preview the transitions and drag and drop it on top of your edit. And boom, you have a natively built seamless transition and you're able to add any of these 200 plus transitions into all of your edits. So be sure to check out the link below. And if you do pick it up, you'll directly be supporting this type of content. So I truly appreciate that as I'll be able to bring on some help to create more tutorials like this. Okay, so back in this thing, let's create a looping shape background. With my basic node tree, I'm going to add a merge and an ellipse. I'll connect everything like this. With my ellipse selected, uncheck solid and increase the border width. For the height, I'll type in an equal sign and link it to the width, just like the pick whip tool in After Effects. Then I'll just animate the width from zero to a number that expands the circle outside of the frame. Once animated, go to the spline panel and set the keyframes to the loop preset. This will loop the circle forever. Now I can copy and paste this ellipse and connect it to the node. I'll repeat this until I have six ellipse nodes. From here, we'll go to the keyframes panel and you can select the keyframes and offset them by five to eight frames each. Repeat this to create what I call a staircase animation. And now we should have this offset shape background animation here in Resolve. Okay, let's get creative and create something unique. Okay, let's add a merge to our tree and add some text to that merge node. When your text is ready to go, go to shading and I'll set the color of the text to the same color as the background. Great, now you can't see it. However, I'll select element two and click the stroke icon. Then we'll change the color of that stroke to black and the thickness to 0.02. And now we can see our text again. And one thing I like about Resolve is how simple it is to create 3D. So we can go to layout and adjust the rotation X to lift the title up. Then we can go to transform and animate the rotation Z this way back and forth like this. And of course, go to spline and loop the animation. From here, I would love to duplicate my text. To do this, I'll hit shift and space on my keyboard and search for duplicate. And we'll add this node between our text and merge nodes. And then we can increase the number of copies to any number you want. So I'll do 10 and I'll adjust the center Y to move the copies back. And most importantly, check merge under. And now you have a technique to create a creative element. If you wanna watch more Resolve content from me, be sure to check the links below and always be creative.